Hey guys, it's uh, me, David. Um, and basically, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make that hologram. Uh, recently, I released the hologram video here on the fan channel where you saw a hologram right there and right here. So, what I'm going to show you is how to make this version right here. This is probably the more harder version. So, what you want to do first, you want to go and use whatever software you're using. I use iStopMotion. Um, so, basically, first I just film it, and that goes, let's see, right here. Here is the rough film. It's just Palpatine, like this. No, he's just waving his arm, looking at nothing. So, we're going to show you, or me, basically, how to put that hologram in there. Okay, well, first of all, you're going to need to get the commander, clone, whatever you're using, and put it behind some kind of object that has a solid background that's not the color of the figure, or any of the colors of the figure. By that, I mean, in like, a green screen or a blue screen might work if you're doing, like, a clone. Um... And then just basically take a picture, and this is the picture of the general right here. Here he is, all like you know, I, you know. So basically, actually, here's the real photo, the real crop photo is actually this, and then you just crop it out as much as possible to get the full figure. That's all we're really focusing about. And then you can use GIMP, or GIMP is free, um, but I use uh, Photoshop. So here he is. Basically, what I did is I used the magic eraser tool, which is really easy. And I just went it went. Let's see, now it just doesn't want to work for me. Oh well. And I basically just clicked around, tried to get as much as possible. And I went back with the brush tool here. Um, and you can get like any size you want to get basically get all that green out. And then this checkered backboard is what you want. Uh, once you have it all like this, um, it went from that right there to this. Once you have this, go ahead and save it. Save as whatever, and then put it whatever. And then uh, I save it as a PNG, or you can save it as a GI, uh, GIF. If you save it at any other file, it won't work. Uh, it won't have a like. A, it won't get rid of the background, basically. It'll just be flat. It, it'll look really stupid. Uh, so PNG or Photoshop or GIF. Um, but I already saved it. Then next, uh, you can use Effects Lab Demo. I don't really care what you use, but here's how I did the next part where you actually put them in and everything. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a new, new blank time. Or actually, new select video. What we see. Blah blah blah. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and go get that footage we had. What the? That's not good. Um, there we go. Alright, so here. Alright, so there's our footage, I think. Just the footage. Yep, here's the footage. Okay. And you wanted a 15 frame per second, that's what I filmed the uh, footage at. Keep it the exact same frame rate. And then here's our footage right here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to media. I'm gonna go click this yellow file that says import media. And we're gonna go look for our file. I think I saved it somewhere. Oh, that's right. Um, here it is. So there's our general. He looks all cropped out, looks really good. We bring it in and put him down. And obviously, he's really big, and we're gonna go ahead and scale him down. And that's the smallest that we can go, it looks like, without going to teeny tiny. So then we're just gonna, since this is our little like hologram projector, we're just gonna shrink him down to where it makes sense that he is a hologram. And 
widen them a little bit and just check over looks pretty decent now obviously you can see very carefully that there are a couple green marks so that means you really need to make sure you go through I did this fast but make sure you go through and actually really take the time and get rid of all the green or whatever the background is and then now we're going to do a neon light which is basically doing the lightsaber we're going to drag it over I'm going to do a four point and we're just going to basically go right over them like this and make sure we cover them all and make it look like a hologram kind of do your best if possible so that looks pretty good it covers everything then we're going to go over to neon glow over down here and we're going to feather him all the way so we see him but now that we see this this is just poking too high so what we're going to do is go back to the four point and just make it look much better and more realistic and we're going to go back to neon glow stretch the size all the way out and actually nope, I'm going to keep it ooh, keep it pretty decent looks pretty good right there change the color by clicking this and we're going to change it to blue like that and you can just do that now if you want the, the lines going down here's the other tr uh, method so that's how you do it right now uh, here's the other method if you want the lines you do another neon light we're going to do another four point make a little like rectangle ish thing and then we're going to go up to the very top of his head and just basically try to do our best and like get a little get the rectangle to go right over his head and then we're going to go over to neon glow we're going to stretch the size all the way out because we don't want to see any of that we just want to see a white bar and then uh, just in case because it makes the red uh, when you stretch the size of the glow out really far it makes the re uh, room kind of red so we're going to change the color to white and it looks much better now and it just looks a little too wide so we're going to go ahead and shrink it like that and then what we're going to do is each frame we are going to make the little bar go down a little bit so basically what we would do is let's see here there we go and we're trying to stretch it down right there am I right effects why are you trying to be mean to me when I'm doing a thingy so basically you're just trying to move it down a little bit and get that next white bar so then you should see something like that looks pretty good but eventually you'll go all the way down so basically you would just take this I'm not gonna take the time and actually stretch it out I'm just gonna do it really fast way and we're gonna just do that and do that and just get to the bottom okay so I know that was really fast but there you go and then it just ends like that so the best way to do it is if you have a Mac or PC you just want to highlight the uh, glow for the bar and just use command C for Apple and then uh, be right click and then copy and just paste it and then just redo it over and over um, but the thing is at the very end you're going to have to move it. I usually just take it all the way to the other side of the screen. So then it just repeats itself. Um, let's see. And let's take that over there. And so it just repeats itself like that. Um, so that's pretty much it. Now for the other hologram. Right here. You're doing the same method, except what you can skip is since he doesn't have to be shrink down, whatever you're doing, I actually just put the figure onto the hologram table to make my life easier and not crop him out. So then you just do the same method of, you know, doing the glow and the white strip. And then it'll come out to looking like this. This was filmed at 15 frames per second. So, yeah, that's about it. 
looks comes out really good. The only thing that I'm having a problem with right now is um, once you're done, you're going to have to render it, and I am having a horrible time with getting a really high-quality render in effects lab. Maybe because my effects lab's old, but I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure that out. It comes out a little pixie. Pixie mean pixelated. Um, but I'm trying to figure that out at the moment. But it's good enough to say that it is a hologram. And it looks fine to me. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And, excuse me. Um, look for um, look for landings at landings on Nadium. Because look, it's epic. All right. Trailer coming soon. Hope you enjoyed the um, tutorial. Hopefully, I'll make some more in the future. I guess.